Very good morning, my dear students. We have studied the lesson Earth and Solar System. My dear, we have studied the lesson Earth and Solar System. In the last videos, we have just gone through the Earth. What is actually the Earth? How the structure of an Earth? How the Earth consists of? Yes or no? And in the last video, we have learned the Solar System. Am I right? So let's learn more about the Earth and solar system. Now you know when you learn anything about the numbers, then that subject is called as a math subject. Am I right? When you are dealing with the numbers, then we call this as a math subject. When we, when you are dealing with the grammar subject, then you are, uh, then that subject is called as an English. It deals with the English grammar. Am I right? So similarly, when we are studying about the uh, solar system or about an environment then we call this as a uh, when you are studying about an environment then we call this as a science subject am i right similarly when we are studying about a particular when we are doing a specialization in a particular area or a particular subject for example if the students are studying about the solar system then such students they are called as in that study is called as an astronomy is called that study is called as an astronomy. When a particular person is studying about the solar system or universe, so that study is called as an astronomy. Are you getting this? Study is called as an astronomy. Astronomy is a study of a science which deals with the universe, which studies about the universe, planet, uh, galaxies, asteroid, uh, Milky Way. This we st uh, study in this astronomy. Are you getting this? Then the next is universe. What is the actually the uni universe? Universe is nothing but the space of emptiness which is filled with the number of millions of galaxies, planets, solar system. Are you getting this? Solar system, stars. It consists of for millions of galaxies, stars, solar system. It can uh, that is called as a universe. It is called as a universe. Now, if you will come to us, there are four member of galaxies. Now, you know we live in which galaxy? Milky Way. We live in Milky Way galaxy. Are you getting? So, what is the galaxy? Galaxy is nothing but a cluster of stars. What is meant by galaxy? Galaxy is nothing but a cluster of star. We live in a galaxy of one, one such galaxy that is Milky Way. We, love, we live in a one such a galaxy that is in the Milky Way. Now, what is there in the galaxy? There are the four main members in the galaxies. So, last system that we have learned in uh, last video, what is the solar system? Solar system consists of what? There are the eight planets. Am I right? In the last video, we have learned in a detail about this solar system. Stars, constellations. Stars, if you look at, uh, at night, you can see the number of stars in the sky. Yes or no? So, our galaxy consists of stars, constellations. Nebula, this is a new concept for you, nebula. Nebula is nothing but it is a very bright star which, uh, which looks like a blue or the whitish in color. Are you getting? It is blue and whitish in color. Nebula and Milky Way. Milky Way, we live in a Milky Way. That is our galaxy is a Milky Way. So let's learn about that. We have already discussed about the solar system. Solar, solar system consists of eight planets. Am I right? Also, with the eight planets, there are satellites. Yes or no? So today we are going to focus on the concept of satellites. Now, what is a satellite? Can you just tell me? There are mainly the two main types of satellites. Natural and artificial satellite. Natural and artificial satellite. So you might have learned in the uh, last classes of uh, last year classes about the satellites. So if you will see what uh, 
Can you name the satellite of an earth? Yes. Yes. Satellite of the earth is moon. Yes. That is the natural satellite. Now can you just tell me moon has its own light? No. Moon does not have its own light. It takes the light from the sun. So in the uh, so at night it looks bright so that so that we can see during night moon are you getting it takes the light from the so, uh, sun so it is visible to us are you getting so natural satellite of an earth is a moon now if you will look for the other planets let's go in the sequence mercury if you will look at mercury mercury does not have the satellite venus does not have the satellite earth earth has one satellite that is moon then you will look at the mars mars has two satellite then next is jupiter it has 16 uh, 16 natural satellite then uranus these are the satellites of the natural satellites of an planets of a planet they also revolve around the sun and also they revolve around the earth now in the last fifth standard book we have there was a lesson moon and satellite moon and the satellite just go through that lesson read that lesson in that you can see the phases of moon in that lesson there are the phases of moon are you getting this the phases of moon it tells you that it revolves it tells about it revolves around the planet also it revolves around the planet are you getting this so when moon um, when there is increasing when the when, if you will see the shape of the moon if it start increasing that phases of the moon that process is called as a waxing and when if you will see the moon for this is for the 15 days in first 15 days the moon starts to increase yes or no so that that process is called as a waxing now why when the moon will start to decrease after completion when it will be full moon the new moon to the full moon that process is called as a waxing and full moon to the new moon that process is called as a waning that process is called as a waning are you getting this so this was about a satellite now there are the, also the artificial satellite that we are going to learn and we will discuss afterwards then draft planet draft planet what about a draft planet you might have heard about the pluto in the last few years the pluto was considered as a planet but after some years it was declared that this is a draft planet it's, it has its own orbit it has its own axis it revolves around it also revolves around the sun it also revolves around the sun are you getting this so and so this was about the today's so what we have learned just we will recall first thing astronomy astronomy is nothing but a study of a universe or study of a solar system that is called as an astronomy universe universe is nothing but a empty space it is nothing but a empty space consists of millions of galaxies now what is a galaxy galaxy is nothing but a cluster of stars cluster of stars if you will consider one of the galaxy what it consists of it consists of solar system star constellation nebula and milky way then we have discussed about the satellite what is actually the satellite satellites are the natural satellites they are revolve around the planet and also around the sun also around the sun now there are the two types of satellite natural satellite and artificial satellite now if you will consider of an earth earth uh, earth has a one satellite that is moon earth has a one satellite that is moon and moon take the light from the sun it does not have its own light it does not have its own light
satellite. Now consisting of the artificial satellite, there are the different satellites which we can use for the television, for television, for a radio. We use a different types of satellite. Then we have learned about the draft planet. These are also the heavenly bodies which revolves around the sun and it has its own axis. Are you getting this? I hope you have understood. Thank you.